was a game with plenty of goals, but in the end, neither side could seem to snatch a victory. What was your take on that one? Yeah, I think you just said it. Uh, strange one, strange one to dissect, to say. Um, six goals, I don't think either keeper actually had a save to make, but put the ball out of the net. Um, look, we have to look at ourselves first defensively. It was one or two, two sloppy, if I'm honest. Um, got caught, caught out early on. Um, they had a little change in their shape from what they've been the last five, six, seven, eight games that we've looked at. Um, the change is tinkered the shape. Um, we spoke about it, that it might change before the game. And I think we just got caught a little bit cold by that. Um, and I said the, uh, the ones after that, we just um, defensively not best, not the best. Yeah, in terms of defensively, I guess you can't switch off, you can't make mistakes against a striker who's in the form that Reese Murphy is. No, yeah, you just said it. He's, um, what I've seen in the games I've taken in, the games I've watched back and etc. By far the best centre forward in the division. Um, he bit of everything, he scored goals, puts himself about, and he looks a, looks a handful today. Uh, gave us a difficult time. Yeah, well, uh, in terms of those couple of changes that you had made, but yeah, two minutes into the game when you go in a goal down, um, it, it's got to be frustrating that you go into games like this with a plan you can see so early. Yeah, look, you can look at things, you can analyse the opposition and stuff like that. You, To an extent, all you're doing is edging your bets yeah. um, on what you've seen and whether they're going to replicate it again. As I said, they, they tinkered with their shape, so you give them, them credit, or maybe they've tinkered their shape to uh, combat what we do. So we'll look at maybe put spin on it and look at it that way. I said we got caught cold, um, lads showed some resilience and character, got back into it um, and then um, you got caught again and then we had to show the same character again to get back into it and we spoke about that half time, if we got our nose in front we, we looked to push on and um, it's the third goal is probably the worst one to uh, watching it back uh, that we've conceded. In terms of coming back from behind twice, the team spirit in terms of what they've got here, the character they've shown to do that must have been really pleasing for you. Yeah look, as I said, it's... <laughs> We're in a position that we don't want to be in, so we need to be picking up maximum points. It's disappointing, as I said, we shall go character to get back into it. And um, decent phases of play, we made the pitch as big as we could. Uh, they played with a narrow three, uh, and the two be just behind the striker, behind Murphy. Made it as big as we could, and we got out a few times. Um, the second goal has just come from uh, just a misplaced pass, to say. But the players are trying to do the right thing, so it's unfortunate on that one. Um, as I said, it's disappointing, but we want to pick up maximum points. We've got a big game on Tuesday night, we have to go and get three points now. In terms of the goals you've scored, Akil Wright getting on the score sheet, Ben Tollett with an assist for that one, and then Paul Rutherford with, uh, I think he's uh, Luke Young set the benchmark for that goal of the season. I think Rutherford is trying to beat it. No, look, as you said, look, we've um, the, the pleasing one for Aki's one. We've got bodies in the box, and making the correct runs. Uh, we've moved the ball from one side of the pitch and um, to the other, and uh, he's got a good cut back. And so, yeah, as we said, it's things we work on and we speak about them. We've taken on board. Look, Rutherford's what that little piece of individual br brilliance, sorry. We can't coach that on the, on the training ground. We, we speak about it when the ball coming forward, etc. From set play, so it was a good set, uh, second ball from um, Summers. Simple pass and rubbers coming inside. So his left foot. It's ended up in the top corner, thankfully. In terms of Bobby's goal, he got uh, that third. Perhaps should have caught that fourth right at the end. Though. Yeah, look, let's not take it away from him. We compete on absolutely everything. Look, he'll, the game will be remembered for that. Um, Great goal, his third one. Um, set plays, come back in, keeping it alive. Keelan's came in, kept it alive. Jake Lawler's great little composure, little touchdown to Bobby, and just put it away. Disappointing thing, obviously that great opportunity he's had, uh, he's ended up putting over over the bar. I saw some frustration from those on the pitch, and I talked to the fourth official as well. There were some decisions in that game that were let go or given. Um, with any complaints in that respect? Well, look, well, it, it, it gets as bad for both both sets of players and both both management staff and that. Without saying too much, he couldn't be classed as a homer, could he? Let's be honest. And uh, look, it's it is what it is. Look, when things sometimes you end up get one or two decisions going your own way. Hopefully, one of them two things start start arriving for arriving for us. Sorry, I mean, we had the uh, corner that was not a corner the other night. We had penalty shouts in the first one in the FA Cup. As I said, hopefully, they work out over the time over the time the course of the season, and we get our fair share eventually. Uh, three players handed their debuts. Uh, Tyler Reid first. Um, obviously, got the opening half an hour. But perhaps that rustiness, and you were saying it's a twinge in his quad. Yeah, look, he's, <clears throat> he's an explosive athlete, you can see that. He's not had many minutes, so we, I was very aware of that. Um, obviously, we lost Geno through a little bit of an illness. Um, so Tyler's gone thrown in the deep end. Uh, a little bit of a shaky start, to say. Got his way back in, felt his way into it. But then the um, first part of the um, second part of the 30 minutes, I thought he looked imposing going forward. Uh, picked um, Summers out with some decent passes, split him a few times. and. As I said, how he is as an athlete, um, he runs a risk of being like that. Um, as I said, he ain't played too many minutes, so it was. Um, it is what it is. Hopefully, it's not too bad. It's just a little twin, so we'll see how it sells. Okay.
as you said, the others, um, Kieran that's coming in from that, and I think for a centre back who's come in, he knows the club, so that's probably helped him um, settle in a lot quicker than the other two. And uh, yeah, I thought he'd done really well at right back. That's a bit of a foreign position. He has played there a few times, but uh, as I said, I'm really uh, impressed with him. Then Mario come off the bench and he, he looked lively. You know, I think he's showing the fans what he's what he's about. He's the kind of winger that looks again at people, committing people. He's uh, plays on his toes. He's fast. He's direct. Commits players. He's exciting. He's the kind of people, uh, kind of winger that the, the fans will get behind and he gets bums off seats. to so say he's exciting. Yeah, you explained it well with the, Amari Patrick. What was the draw for you with those three players to come in? Do you feel this side needed freshening up in that respect? Yeah, look, I need, I need competition for places. And look, there's already players here. Um, as I said, uh, Tyler won. Obviously, we lost James. Uh, Carter's groin's not been fully um, set, fully settled down from when he tweaked it a few weeks ago. So, obviously, we always case looking at to get another full back in. Obviously, with Carter, what he offers, if any problems with Geno, he can slide across to left back. So, it's always more of a case looking at the right back to come in. And uh, Amari, just something different to go, um, <clears throat> play across the front three. As I said, uh, Kieran, he's somebody I've known about myself, played against him a few times, uh, managed against him, and he's been here and seen him being available. I thought he'd add something to the squad. In terms of that squad, um, fairly large at this point, is that something you want or do you feel there may be some departures that come? Right Look, with players coming in, it obviously leaves, uh, it leaves us top fully loaded. Um, it leaves opportunities for players to get minutes, even less. So obviously players have a conversation with players and uh, what I said, completely full of part of my plans, no, not going forward. But look, you never know what happens in football. But there's been opportunities for one or two maybe to go and play, play minutes, as we have done with loans, and we'll, uh, we'll address, address that over the next week or so. And I guess now AFC filed the next, the next thinking point. Yeah, look, we'll watch it back, we'll clip it, and we've got to learn from it. Um, there's loads of good positives in it. I don't want to be just going on about it. Like, obviously, the defensive side, as I said, it's disappointing. But there's loads of good play in it that we'll look back and we'll feed, feed the negatives and the positive back to the players. As I said, it's, um, we get three points on Tuesday. It could be a good four points over two tough games. Cheers, Steve.